ever since the, the Great Ice Age, uh, we've had just little tiny oscillations in climate. We had what's called the medieval warm period from about 800 AD to 1200 AD where the Vikings uh, settled southwest Greenland and farmed and where they grew grapes in England and other plants grew in England that don't grow today. And then from about oh, 1200 to 1400, we had the start of what's called the Little Ice Age. And this was a dip in the temperatures of which practically all the glaciers in the world advanced. Some of them covering up towns or parts of towns in Switzerland, for instance. And then the Little Ice Age lasted to the, about 1880. And then since then, glaciers have been receding steadily on the average to this present day. Now, the cause of the Little Ice Age is very likely long-term oscillations on the sun that we can correlate with long-term sunspot cycles. For instance, at the peak of the Little Ice Age, it was during the, what's called the Maunder Minimum, which was a, about an 80-year period of around 1700 where there were hardly any sunspots. And the way it works is the, the fewer the sunspots, the cooler the climate. There's a strong correlation. So, and we've been observing sunspots in 1610. So we had this Maunder Minimum where we had uh, maybe 40 sunspots in an 80-year period when we should have had 40,000. Uh, why? Uh, not sure. Uh, forces on the sun. And this was the, the worst time of the Little Ice Age uh, was during this. Superimposed on these long-term fluctuations due to the sun, we also had a lot of volcanism, and the volcanism would cause short period coolings that would uh, cause the glaciers to advance even faster. Then when there's little volcanism, we'd have a warm period. So the Little Ice Age is strong correlation with long-term changes on the sun. Same with the medieval warm period, it was probably a period of a lot of sunspots. Since the late 1800, we've had a lot of sunspots and we've generally been in the warmer uh, cycle of, of the sunspot cycle.